Okay, so welcome to this video. In this one, we're having a look at this four-way socket distribution board thing that's really rough. Not even going to kid you. Look at the state of it. And uh, obviously the sheath has come off the cable there, so we've got exposed single cores. We've got a neon light on this thing as well that may or may not work. I don't know. I have not dared plug this thing in. I mean, this is cracked. Yeah, so uh, this just came out of a unit. It's actually got branding on it here. It's an Alfel disc board made in rugby in the UK. Portable socket outlet type, maximum load, 13 amp it says, um, because that's the size of the cable that's in this at the minute. I'm upgrading this as well, so it's going to be able to handle 16 amps. We're going to upgrade this 1.5 or 1.25 mil cable that's on it now to 2.5 which is more than capable of 16 amps we've got a uh, really old pat test type sticker thing here i think dated the 29th of the 3rd 99 next test due 2001 so yeah as i say this thing's probably not been used in a while but the back housing is still in good nick i've already got a couple of these and uh, i use them for live sound on stages for uh, at the front of the stage just for socket outlets for pedal boards and things so this has got probably its original cable still on it somebody's put a 16 amp plug on this one um, the plug's not very good I mean if you look at that there that's gonna let moisture in to the plug if it gets uh, damp it's not really up to the IP rating so uh, the plugs also going this is basically completely being redone I'm changing all these socket outlets for new ones which I've got here these are BG ones, I got these from Screw6 I think it was. Not that expensive, I only need four of the five. But, uh, so the nice new clean ones. Then I've also got, from a previous video, some of you that are regulars and watch all my videos may remember the uh, new distro I did, the 32 amp to 3x16 one. Well, uh, this was the original piece of mains inlet cable and connector off that I'll link that video anyway up in the corner if you want to go and check that out but uh, I've kept hold of this because I knew it would come in handy for something and this is where it's going to be used so this is literally just a 16 amp commando plug uh, better branded one this is a Menekes one it's sealed properly so you can see the cable's not going to go anywhere and it's nice and water resistant we've got 2.5 millimeter cores so this is up to the job and uh, it's got these little boot lace ends on it as well which may come off um, we're gonna have a look what's in here now though anyway so I'm gonna completely take all these fronts off and let's have a look at what we're gonna do okay so this is all of the screws out here on the top some of them are a little rusty I'm noticing as well they're not uh, actual socket screws, so I'm probably going to have to reuse these unfortunately, um, but at least the fronts will look nice. So, under socket number one, well every socket to be honest, uh, they're all just linked. So this is, I'd say, 1.5mm, maybe 25 let's have a look, no I think that's 2.5mm. Um, single core cable there I think it's solid core as well because if you notice how it's uh, springy and um, that's just linked through 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 to this one which has got a neon on it so you can see the indicator light here um, has come out of the housing actually that should be in there more so like that that's a little bit better and uh, that's just across neutral and line or live and then you've got the earth and everything just coming straight in here so I'm going to undo this gland that's nice and loose and let's get the incoming cable off okay so there's all of the cables out we can see these outlets are the 10 b ones so these are actually quite old school outlets. They're quite decent sockets though, like still. 
um, that whole assembly there, the switch and everything, is coming away. Where well, this has been proper mashed, so it's really not fit for use. Down here in the bottom, you can see the cables here. It's actually stranded. It's not solid core like I thought it was. But uh, all these are free now, minus the earth that just needs unwrapping. Which we can do. So that's all the outlets out of the way now, in one big chain. I can wiggle this incoming cable out as well now. There we go. I'm going to unwrap the uh, neon. There we go. And we'll just pull this cable out. I'm going to take the gland back off here. May or may not need to change this, I'll have a look in a second. So yeah, there's the old uh, cable. You can see where it's gone. This will actually move back down. It's just sort of broken away over time, I think, with uh, it being twisted and worn. So I could cut that off and re-terminate this, but as I say, I'm upgrading the whole unit for a little bit more power handling. So there's our new incoming mains cable. I'm going to put this over. We'll see if we can fit it through with these uh, bootlace crimps on. It's a little bit tougher to get this to go in because of it being a larger diameter cable. But we should be okay. There we go. Let's get the rubber in. There we go. So now if I push this through, we are sorted. I'm going to move this down just a touch more. I'm just going to pull this further up to this end. There we go. Don't need quite so much of the cable inside the unit. I'm going to do that up to hand tight for now. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to link all the sockets together, I think. So let's get the new socket. So you can see here a uh, actual socket fixing screw. This is the screws that this unit uses. I'm going to have to use them because the sockets won't attach into the housing with those screws. So, so I'm going to go across all of these sockets and take the uh, screws out the back. And I'm also going to take these plastic poppers off. So they don't come loose at a later date and cause the thing to rattle. So that's all the screws and stuff off. They're all here in a big pile. I'll put them away and keep them for maybe another project. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, start from this end socket and just start replacing them. So rewiring them into these. So number one can come out.
and I'm just going to slot this straight back on. It just so happens that wine, neutral and earth are all in the same place more or less on these new sockets, which is rather convenient. There's another earth terminal down there, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use these top ones, then it's just a light for like swap. So I'll just make sure that these are open. They're actually uh, a little longer uh, than they need to be for these new sockets, so I'm going to trim them down slightly as well, I think. Yep, that's the ticket, so you can see there there's no uh, copper showing. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to uh, trim all of these down slightly. And there's one done. So I'm going to do that same thing to these two now. Trim them down and put the new uh, socket fronts on. And then we can do the final one and stick all this back together again. Okay, so there's the three sets of outlets now done. So they're strung together, ready to go in. I've just got to do the number one one now. So let's get the housing back up here. Alrighty. So should perform a quick test fit it should be the same socket sizes have not changed so that's looking pretty good to me it looks a million times better already now we just got to uh, wire this end in I'm gonna cut these bootlaces off and restrip the cable back just because I've got a, a twist in this neon and I've also got to connect these coils for this first socket so these are gonna make it a bit hard to do that I'm going to snip them back, get the strippers in, okie dokie, so that is now all soldered, we've got to now get Tip these over for a minute. I'm going to start with the live since that's on this side. Want these two together. In fact, I'm going to put the knee onto the, the stranded incoming one because that's going to be easy to get done. Okay, and then I'm going to put these together. Just make sure all of the screws are all the way out in this socket. So we're not fighting to get the cable in. And we're going to plonk in both of these. Let's tighten that up. Let's do the neutral next. In fact, no, we'll do the earth. Yeah, no, we'll do the neutral because I was going to say we'll do the earth because that's next, but I'd rather get this neon on out the way at the same time. So that's twisted around there. Let's get the neutral over. Okay, so that's them in. That's nice and tight. So now let's just plunk the earths in. Both 
circles in there. Okay, so I'm going to tighten all these up now, make sure everything is nice and tight. Don't want any loose connections when working with electrics, because that is how fires start. Not that these are really going to see a massive amount of load, but it's always good practice to double check all the connections. Okay. So I'm going to screw these end three in. We'll leave the first one out for a second. Making sure none of the cables get trapped. It's a shame to put these screws back in, but I haven't got anything I can replace these with, um, being self-tapping ones. I'm probably going to try those white caps on these anyway, so let's have a look if we can cover them. Yeah, so there we go. These uh, white plugs, like the caps for over the screws, do still fit even with these screws in. Or at least they did on that one. So it's not so bad. Okay, so all those three are in. The caps are on. It's just a case of this end one now. So I'm just making sure the neon is definitely in its place. I want this flex to go sort of up that way. I just want to empty. See there's some little bits and pieces of rubbish in here. I want to empty all that out. Look at all that garbage that's built up in here. And uh, let's screw the last one in place now. Me uh, screwdriver handle is still disintegrating into pieces, which is where all these little black bits keep appearing from. But this is my uh, screwdriver I've had for a few years. It was a gift from a friend, and uh, it just doesn't stop. So that's where those little bits are coming from, if you're wondering. So that's all then in place, let's put two more caps on. There we go. That's looking pretty damn good. You wouldn't think it was something that's over 20 years old, which this definitely is. Let's give it a new lease of life. Let's just make sure that this grip is nice and tight. Just gonna get my pliers on this now to do the last little bit of a turn. I don't want to do it too tight. Just tight enough to uh, seal the cable in place. So that's our finished product now. We've got the four sockets installed on here. We've got the new thicker incoming mains cable and the 16 amp new plug. That's actually in decent condition, all ready to go. I'm gonna quickly test this now for uh, polarity. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So here's an interesting little aside note. When I've come to cleaning this now, after I've finished it and checked it, I was taking this label, uh, well, pile of labels off, and uh, I've had all of them come off. It's come down to this layer here, and when I've been peeling off, I've got to the original label. Oh, it looks like the original label. And if you look at that next test due date, that would be 89. So 1989, this thing. So this is like 30 years old, or was 30 years old anyway. So yeah, it's done pretty good to last up to that. And it's probably got another 30 years in it now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you found it helpful or interesting, leave a like down below. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. And get subscribed for future random videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.